Hello, everyone. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us today for our uh, Large Venue Solutions webinar. My name is Dave Howden. I'm Technical Services Manager of the Large Venue Group. We provide uh, applications and design support uh, from uh, here in our Chester, Pennsylvania base. So Community Loudspeakers, also known as the Large Venue Group, uh, we're known as being the world leader in solutions for indoor-outdoor sound reinforcement. You know, many of the innovations that others have followed along with, you know, we were certainly, you know, the first in providing a you know, truly outdoor weather-resistant speaker systems. Our primary focus is on medium uh, to large size venues, but we have products that can address, you know, roughly uh, 95% of the uh, venues uh, out there today for permanent installed sound. Uh, yeah, community loudspeakers, you know, been around for 52 years. We have a very strong heritage and a lot of trust amongst our partners uh, uh, worldwide. Part of that's due to just our honest, accurate acoustical data. You know, what you see is uh, what you get, you know, whether you're uh, looking at um, our cut sheets or if you're using our acoustical modeling data in uh, 3D modeling programs. Uh, we've always been very speech intelligibility focused here. Uh, you know, if you can't get the voice right, who cares about the highs and the lows? So always uh, been, you know, number one with us, you know, low, low distortion, uh, high directivity, intelligibility, ability focused products. Uh, we have a lot of technically innovative products. A lot of this is due to our ability to, uh, pr you know, to uh, design our uh, own own drivers and manufacture them rather than having to just pick what's on the shelf uh, like many other manufacturers do. And we design products, you know, with you know for real reason to address uh, a need or an application. And also, we're very well known. Uh, for providing outstanding customer service, uh, like all groups across Biampar. We serve a wide range of uh, venues, you know, whether your venue is a, a sporting, uh, sporting venue, you know, auditoriums, recreational spaces, worship spaces, performance venues, uh, for fixed installation, uh, you know, we we serve all of these markets extremely well and excel at providing extraordinary audio experiences within these spaces. Jumping right into uh, our our solutions here, as I mentioned, we're the you know we're the world leader in sport sound, uh, whether it's outdoor stadiums, uh, gymnasiums, event centers. Uh, our series was really the original game changer in versatile, durable, full range outdoor systems with unmatched voice clarity. Uh, the R series was introduced uh, about 20 years ago at this point and continues on today to uh, solve, solve the needs of uh, these many types of venues. The W series is a favorite of the themed entertainment and cruise industry for its high fidelity and extremely robust design. In our I series, WR systems, uh, extremely you know high performance meets elegant design, and we have an extremely wide range of uh, full range systems and subwoofer systems to allow you to address any outdoor environment, no matter how harsh. The R series uh, includes 35 models. Uh, if you include all the different horn patterns uh, that, that are available, it really is the world standard for exceptional audio performance in extreme uh, weather conditions and environments. Also, we have the largest number of horn-loaded speaker systems available uh, you know, in, the, in the industry. And these uh, these R series systems also really lend themselves to uh, indoor uses in highly reverberant spaces where intelligibility can be challenging. And a front-loaded uh, system just isn't going to get it done. We've got a we've got a lot of solutions. You know whether you're doing an an expo center, a warehouse, uh, some sort of a sports venue, uh, we have a solution to really help you get the intelligibility required in these tough environments where perhaps acoustical treatment uh, isn't a consideration or it got you know ve'd out of the budget early on. 
It's also worth noting uh, for those countries that recognize EN 5424 that we have a wide range of R models, including uh, the R1 series, the R2Z series, and even our largest R651 systems and a compact, our R.353896, are all EN5424 certified and uh, can, can match up uh, you know, very well with Vochia systems uh, where applications require uh, emergency announcements or management. So the R series, uh, we have a, we have a we have a few different uh, a few different uh, levels levels of uh, sy you know systems. We have our premium music solutions, which provide an even higher level of musical fidelity, uh, low frequency, mid range, high frequency, you know, all matching up to provide that broadband audio experience people desire. And our original R you know R series, our Z, our Z series, you know. Our, our smaller R25s, uh, older R5s, R1s, and R2s uh, certainly you know, excel at voice clarity. Also, have very good musical reproduction. And there's there's many lookalikes out there these days, but there's only one original uh, R series that comes with a 15-year structural warranty on all the uh, all the products. Very few companies uh, today, you know, produce purely you know, voice reproduction horns, but our voice projection solutions uh, encompasses three different series. Uh, our RMG with a single mid-range driver, our R5 V2200 with dual M200 mid-range drivers, and our RSH 462 with four uh, mid-range drivers covering, covering the 500 hertz to four kilohertz region uh, for voice projection applications, uh, especially for long throw voice projection applications, given their extremely high sensitivity. Uh, there's really no equal in the pro audio business for long throw voice reproduction and consistent operation in the most extreme environments. Also in the R series, we have some very large format uh, subwoofers, all fiberglass enclosures also, or our R6 base horn and our base horn max for uh, when you want to change a barometric pressure a little bit within a space and uh, add that, uh, that visceral feel to uh, make events even more exciting. So the R series range, you know, goes from, you know, the largest of the uh, R6 systems uh, which you know, stand, you know, three plus feet tall uh, when 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 stu stood up on end down to our R.15. You know, the R.15 pictured in the middle of the screen, the face is only about nine inches by ten inches for that six-inch coaxial system. The R.5 on the right-hand side, we put a lot of different uh, technologies within that same looking cabinet, uh, but that 16-inch square uh, face on those very popular and uh, got a, a whole lot of options within a single uh, cabinet design. And then there's the R2 on the left side, which really that's really started it uh, started it all. Uh, about a 25 inch square face, three way system, and uh, really uh, really the standard, especially on sports fields, you know, around around the Americas and globally. We have a very convenient and easy to use. Uh, how far does it go chart that can be found on our website or uh, how it can be found in our, our sports applications guide that's also downloadable from our website, giving you kind of a base where, you know, how far, how far can you achieve 96 dB if you run it per, you know, the low impedance spec, uh, power specs on the uh, uh, list, listed on the cut sheets, uh, for, you know, for these systems. So it's a very handy go-to when helping qualify, you know, which product might be appropriate uh, for your particular application. Our series can be found in a wide variety of places, showing a, a racetrack example here that used 27 of our R5 Max uh, speakers on the leading edge of the canopy. Um, also, it's augmented with some R5 HPs and R15s, providing additional fill and, and field coverage. 
but R series is commonly applied in stadiums, uh, smaller, you know, smaller arenas, as I mentioned, athletic facilities. Racetracks is really a strong suit from the smallest midget tracks, you know, up the, up the road from you to the largest F1 and NASCAR tracks. Uh, they're used extensively in uh, themed entertainment uh, environments, uh, fairgrounds for wide area uh, paging, annunciation, background music, just about any kind of outdoor entertainment center. We'll use our series uh, at outdoor swimming pools or indoor pools. They will survive that that chlorine air uh, environment due to, their, due to their robust bust construction. Factories have a lot of uses for our series in factories, especially due to their horn loading, uh, providing uh, much higher sound pressure level capability and better pattern control than your standard stick on the wall, small re-entrant horns. So a lot of different uses uh, for the uh, for the R series, well beyond just outdoor applications. Our W series uh, is our our most durable point source uh, system available, you know, for extreme environments. Uh, these you know these systems are a favorite of the uh, cruise industry. You know, cruise ship ready. There's really not a nastier environment than being out at sea. But there's just tons of ships that that use these in a distributed uh, fashion. Very high fidelity uh, systems. There's three different models. We're showing the uh, 218 here, a single eight inch, and community zone designed and manufactured one inch exit HF. Black and white are standard colors for these, but we can custom color them to an RAL. We have our uh, trademarked, you know, weather stop grills to keep the keep the moisture out of these, even even sideways rain. A product we'll highlight you know, briefly here is the W2228. Uh, it was really the uh, the uh, W2 series that started it all. A major theme park I was tired of replacing uh, their their distributed audio system speakers every four or five years. Uh, they gave it to us, say, hey, what can you make that'll last a long time? And we came up with the, the uh, W2228, which is a quasi three-way system. And all the W2s are available with uh, either low impedance, 70 or 100 volt uh, operation. And they all use a uh, SJO cord entering a liquidite connector in the back. In the same size cabinet also, we have uh, a system called our W2-2W8, which is an extremely low profile, dual eight inch, 120 by 60 speaker, which is a big favorite of the consultants for using as under balcony systems or anywhere where you need wide coverage uh, in, an, in an outdoor environment primarily, and your projection distances are say, well, up to 40 or 50 feet. Uh, but remember the 2W8, it's a very, very good uh, wide dispersion product. Uh, applications, and that can be a main PA for a smaller venue or distributed as they most commonly are. You know, many theme parks have these all over their, you know, poles or themed into the sides of buildings and such due to their, their very high fidelity. You know, water parks, outdoor entertainment centers, as I mentioned, the cruise cruise industry, you know, your fountain shows. Uh, they can be used, you know, as I mentioned, they can be used as the primary the primary system or you know, or as a fill system. Uh, shown here is just another installation that used the W2228s to cover uh, the uh, larger areas and also includes a number of our ceiling speakers from the D-series and surface mounts uh, to distribute uh, even audio and a consistent listening experience through the whole facility. Our I-series weather resistant systems, these are also available uh, indoors, but it's really the new standard for outdoor sound. We've been producing these for a few years now and they are just, you know, becoming incredibly, incredibly popular. Uh, the enclosures, unlike the hand laminated fiberglass, which takes a very long time and process to do, uh, poly, polyglass, uh, the polyglass cabinets uh, in the I-series are family of premium point source systems that are available, as said, in wood uh, for indoor or polyglass for outdoor. 
Uh, the range includes uh, from a six inch two-way with a soft dome tweeter up to a large uh, 15 inch three-way uh, biamp system and even a line array system and of course a wide a wide range of subwoofer systems and these are essentially designed to be cruise ship ready also which is really saying something again the ingress into these systems is a you know is a gland uh, gland nut in the back sealed up from the uh, elements Polyglass. It's shipped to us. It's basically it basically comes kind of like wood, you know, like uh, wood she you know wood sheets do, and we can cut it and machine it yeah, just like wood. It still gets glued and screwed together. They're extremely lightweight. They're 20 or 25 percent lighter cabinet wise than the wooden cabinets. Uh, they will not crack, especially the corners, like uh, many people's fiberglass uh, covered wood cabinets will, and uh, they're just extreme survivability, you know, high impact resistance. I got that cable ingress in the back uh, with a very well, you know, sealed up uh, cover, like a single gang electrical box on the back of them. Uh, stainless, you know, stainless steel uh, yokes are available for all of the I-Series WR systems. They have the same acoustic performance and physical dimensions um, as the indoor cabinets. Uh, same components, and due to us using the polyglass and not doing the ham laminated fiberglass, you know, for this system, they really have, they have the same lead time from order as the indoor versions uh, do, and they're all made in our plant here in Chester, Pennsylvania. A couple of uh, outdoor uh, ap application examples that I can uh, uh, point out here. On the upper left, it's a uh, yeah, this is a uh, a small entertainment venue uh, right oceanside uh, here in Delaware. Got some some more further up the coast uh, in New Jersey. In the lower left, we have an outdoor performance venue using the uh, IV6, part of the I series uh, line array systems, mounted in a local park for their entertainment entertainment venue, uh, projecting about a hundred feet up this hillside. So. Don't don't be scared to put these systems, you know, outdoors in the worst of conditions. They can stay there all year, whether it's oceanside uh, or inland. Uh, you can you can trust the performance and reli reliability and fidelity of these systems uh, for you know for many years. Moving on to uh, our distributed uh, reinforcement systems, our our D series. Uh, I want to point out they they have their true compression driver based uh, ceiling speaker systems, uh, which provide excellent comp uh, voice band pattern consistency um, and extremely low distortion output. <laughs> they are a high performance system. Uh, they they're high fidelity and they are able to achieve extremely high output. Puts. Now, that's something not something that you need every day in low ceiling environments. But when the ceilings you know, start getting higher, you know, in uh, ballrooms, places like that, you'll certainly appreciate the higher power handling and the wide range of sizes. We have seven in ceiling models, including a low profile profile four inch, as well as a, a, a ten inch uh, subwoofer system, um, also in the series. Two surface mounts two pendants uh, also. They're quick and easy to install as these systems uh, uh, need to be. Obviously you could do low impedance or constant voltage operation and we really concentrated on you know, making these making these systems uh, perform extremely well especially through the crossover point between LF and HF uh, to aid in achieving high speech intelligibility, which is really our goal with these systems. So seven full range models, uh, a, four, a four inch uh, low profile back can, as you a 10 inch full range in the subwoofer, the zinc plated steel enclosures, powder coated steel grills, and very high broadband sensitivity. Our sensitivity uh, for our ceiling speakers is generally three to five dB higher than competitors. 
Um, and that's not measuring just where the highest peak is in the frequency response. That's actually across the entire stated operating range of the systems uh, which we derive our sensitivity from, unlike other manufacturers. Uh, the D4 and D8 are real favorites of mine. Uh, the D4 system, shoot it out about against anybody's four inch, whether it's voice or music, you know, at, at low levels or high levels, you're going to win that demo every time. And the eight inch, uh, well, large for some applications, out of the box, again, just one of my favorites, sound quality wise, and uh, just the, you know, the total the total package. I, I really love the eight inches in the uh, in the D series uh, when they're applicable. So these coaxial sealing systems, again, they're all of our components designed by us, manufactured by us. As the driver size increases, so does the size of the compression driver. Uh, you can see the D4s have the smaller three-quarter inch uh, exit compression driver, tap up to 30 watts at 100 volts. We move up to the D5 and 6, we move up to a one-inch exit compression driver. This really helps with the voice, you know, voice clarity as we move up in size and also helps us uh, match, you know, match um, our beam width uh, through the all-important crossover range. When you get up to the D8 and D10, you've got a one and a quarter inch exit compression driver. You can see the powers go up commensurately. Uh, I often find myself using the D8s and 10s and those higher ceiling, those 16 to maybe up to 20 foot ceiling environments since a larger diameter, uh, larger diameter uh, system uh, has a, a narrower, uh, narrower uh, dis you know, dispersion to it. We also have a subwoofer. Uh, in the series also, which has uh, recently become extremely popular once again, just for augmenting the full range sound and uh, extending those bottom couple octaves uh, a little bit just for a more, you know, subjectively, subjectively, uh, you know, great, great sounding system. Our systems use all steel captive mounting dogs, no plastic dogs on the side, and have an extremely wide grip range. Uh, for those thick ceilings, or those wood, wooden slatted ceilings that are really deep, we can, we can grip up to about three and a quarter inches, uh, which is more than most of our competitors uh, can say. If you look at the image in the bottom center highlighting the yellow drop stop spring loaded support legs, those are there to assist the installer. You know, once once your rails and C ring are in the ceiling, an installer can take the speaker and push it up through uh, the ceiling speaker opening and these little these uh, drop stop legs, you know, pop out and will rest on the C ring, freeing the installer. Uh, to uh, grab a, grab a screw gun or whatever, and not having to balance up on a lift, you know, trying to hold a speaker in and grab the screw gun, so it leads to a safer working environment. Uh, also, it's also notable that the inputs of these are, of course, Phoenix, like you would you would expect, but our uh, D series ceiling speakers and our C series, which we'll talk about soon, uh, the uh, paralleling of the circuit, uh, many manufacturers do it inside the box or inside the back can for the pass through. We actually do the paralleling outside on the Phoenix connector. So should a speaker come disconnected in a circuit, you don't lose everything falling, you know, down the line. Uh, the rest of the circuit will still continue to operate. So one of those little value added things. Also, our D series um, and C series speakers uh, do carry UL 1480 and 2043 uh, for those air handling spaces and places that require uh, th those uh, sorts those sorts of certifications. We also have a couple of surface mount models in the D series systems, the DS5 and the DS8, uh, to maintain very consistent. Uh, voicing across the line. It's the same driver and same crossover as used in the D5 and the D8 ceiling speakers. Uh, features, that you, as you would expect, are listed uh, below, but they have a very clean design, consistent family voicing. 
Uh, the DS5 and 8 can be used outdoors under co in covered applications. Don't just put them up on a pole, put them under an eave or something like that. Um, they have powder coated uh, aluminum grills and a ball mounting system which conceals the wiring. Uh, it enters through the back of it and uh, very, uh, you know, very, uh, you know, cleanly uh, makes it to a Phoenix connector on the on the back of the cabinet just for a much cleaner look. <laughs> We of course have a couple of uh, coaxial pendant systems also. We have our six and a half inch and eight inch. As you could probably guess by now, our six inch pendant will use the same coax driver as a D6, and then the eight uses the same as the D8. Again, getting that you know consistent voicing across a venue, no matter what sort of form factor system uh, you may need. Pendants, as we all know, are great for open ceiling applications like re retail spaces, bars, common areas. But again, it's important to understand you know, across the, the whole D series, we get the same sound signatures, the ceiling speakers and the surface mount speakers, making it a whole lot easier for the commissioners at the end of the day to get a, a, a nice, consistent sounding uh, you know, facility. Applications are, as you, as you can imagine, uh, for, uh, for uh, in-ceiling and surface mount and pendant style uh, speakers. Uh, you know, our, uh, our V-series, which we'll talk about soon, D-series speakers are uh, used for uh, performance audio and in uh, the guest rooms of the Grand Park Hotel shown here on the side. And it's also processed by uh, Tessera Server with uh, IO with a uh, AVB digital network server uh, driving the entire system. Okay, let's move to uh, you know our primarily indoor sound reinforcement uh, models at this point. We have our E-series of columnar format uh, loudspeaker systems. We have our uh, full range musical reproduction systems also in the cost effective V series and the no holds barred uh, I series systems. So let's touch on E series systems. Uh, you know, like say performance made to be heard, not seen. Uh, with their uh, cylindrical or oval design, they're very architecturally pleasing. The Entesis FR systems offer you know, premium performance and high intelligibility in challenging reverberant spaces. Uh, if you have favorable mounting heights uh, for these columnar style speakers, say no more than you know, two and a half meters or maybe you know, up to you know, seven, eight feet off the floor, uh, these systems can compete and uh, and provide you know the same or similar results with steered column arrays where you need a single beam at a fraction uh, of the cost of those systems. To our knowledge, the uh, Entesis FR system is still the only three-way passive modular column line source on the market. These can be stacked and arrayed single amp channel. The signal feeds through the columns uh, from one to the next to the next when you do uh, stack when you do stack them up. Each element's 12 ohms, so easy to drive from an ampli uh, from a single amplifier and DSP channel. The two-way uh, Entesis uh, 200 series, uh, more affordable uh, solution, uh, but two ways. We've really got a leg up on. There's so many one-way columns out there. Depending on you know if you're running into the the phone systems, the uh, you know you know the uh, you know rank of systems, you know, some of the other competitors that just do one way, single small woofers, these have much more consistent pattern control and much higher intelligibility scores than those systems do in most environments. Again, they're an architectural uh, alternative to maybe a square or rectangular point source uh, box, and they should be treated as a point source when using uh, when when using them. But be aware that they do have you know they do uh, have uh, you know narrowing like most columns do uh, in the high frequencies especially. So pay attention to that when you're designing with them. 
there's four different models, uh, which essentially gives you four different output levels, and obviously low frequency increases with column size also. Excellent for uh, playback, you know, AV playback, speech reinforcement, or light musical reinforcement. The Entesis FR series has the ability to provide very highly intelligible reproduction in extremely challenging acoustical environments. They're powder coated, aluminum extrusion uh, cabinets, if you will. The full range column, uh, which, uh, which uh, has six woofers and all the mid range sections that we're gonna talk about in a moment uh, in it is great for standalone voice reinforcement or friendly or acoustical environments. And we have an LF column, which just increases the length of the, the array and the, the pattern control. It doesn't get us to a lower bottom frequency, but it, it's uh, there to uh, optimize our vertical coverage, perhaps you know, compress those lower frequencies that tend to hang around a lot longer inside these uh, large cavernous spaces. Uh, they can be configured to order. You, we can give you a custom RAL. Um, we'll talk about straight and curved arrays soon, but they're fantastic performers. You know, with, with two full range systems, uh, you know, powered per the spec sheet, I can achieve uh, in the, the low 90s um, at 100 feet in a venue and generally do it with about plus or minus 2 dB through the voice band from first seat to last seat with a double tall stack. Uh, 200 hertz lower limit on them. You can add paper if you need to for uh, lower frequency extension. But uh, even a single element can be used successfully in a friendly or acoustical environment where you just has, have a medium throw. A little closer look at what's under the hood of the Entesis FR. Uh, we have coherent HF coupling past 16 kilohertz due to our compact ribbon emulators, which you see lined up next to the mid ranges. Each full range element has six uh, three and a half inch neodymium uh, mylar based woofers in it, 18 mid range uh, mylar cone transducers, and the equivalent of 42 one inch uh, high frequency drivers in our compact ribbon emulator, which runs top to bottom of the uh, full range cabinets. A very solid 120 degree horizontal uh, dispersion. And we can configure the vertical coverage pattern based on curving these elements, since there are seven or six individual elements uh, within the full range system. And as I mentioned previously, each element is a 12 ohm nominal impedance. So paralleling them together, you know, you get six ohm load to drive with uh, two elements or a happy four ohm load if you need uh, three elements for your particular application. But as mentioned about curved and curved and straight systems, uh, the the uh, ent the Entesis uh, F FR you know FR systems out of the box they're going to have that curve to them and uh, when you look at it at about uh, 40 feet away it's a 12 degree vertical coverage in the voice band, whereas through moving physical standoffs we can straighten that straighten that uh, those mid high sections out also which is something that's really important to do if you're stacking uh, full range elements you always want a straight you know a, a straight element to uh, meet, meet a straight element um, so we can do that at the factory for a very low upcharge um, or uh, all the parts are included in every Entesis FR for you to uh, do it yourself should you need to um, but basically, you know, when uh, stacking these, if you're stacking straights, because that's what Ease Focus told you to do or Ease told you to do, um, make sure, you know, it's a lot easier if you just order them that way. Uh, low frequency elements can, of course, be stacked on top of straight or curves since they're only addressing the LF range. A quick example of what, what um, you know, what, what adding a single a uh, low frequency element can do on the top. We're looking at 500, 500 hertz band here. Uh, we can see that 500 hertz, it's pretty wide. 
uh, with a single element in the top image, but just adding a single LF element, you can see how it narrows up uh, the energy, just like you expect a line array system to, and provides uh, much more energy to the back of the space, where you see all green to the back of the listening plane, as opposed to on top, where you still have a lot of blue. Uh, they're great for any highly rever reverberant space and also for low ceiling applications where flying speakers might not be a good option. You can add subwoofers for performance systems, but again, understand, you know, the uh, Entis SFR isn't, you know, isn't made to be that 105 dB at 100 foot, you know, type of, uh, of uh, columnar array system. If you need to add paper, look at the V series or the I series subwoofers. Uh, another wonderful feature, since it truly is a line array, they provide very good uh, feedback immunity uh, due to their very narrow pattern. And uh, you know, I dare say that you could even use microphones, you know, in front of the, in front of these systems uh, due to their line array characteristics, and still have a wonderful feedback stability margin to work with. The Entis 200 series, two-way systems, full range columns, uh, they do have more low frequency extension than the Entis FRs. The Entis FRs uh, go down to about 200 hertz, uh, whereas the Entis 200s, depending on the size of it, uh, has uh, you know, another octave of low frequency extension. They're a quick install. They still make use of our CRE, Compact Ribbon Emulator technology with centrally mounted high frequency sections, but not top to bottom like the Entesis FR. Uh, you can run them low impedance or, or you can run them on a constant voltage system through uh, selectable true screw terminals on the bottom. The mounting bracket is included with them, as opposed to the Entesis where pan tilt brackets and such are an accessory. You can use these uh, indoors, which is their primary, applica you know, primary application, or if you're at least you know, you know, 15, 20 miles from the ocean, you could put them outdoors. Uh, they do have aluminum grills uh, on them that are marine grade, and they are PVC paintable plastic enclosures available in standard black and white. The naming convention comes from the number of woofers in them. The Entesis 220, 20 low frequency speakers. You know, the systems you know, better than six feet, you know, six feet tall provides very good pattern control, especially in the upper voice band where it narrows up to about 15 degrees vertical. So be careful of the mounting height that we're putting energy you know, on, onto the uh, listening plane. Similarly, the Entesis 212, you know, has about the same pattern control uh, through the voice band as the 220, a little bit shorter, you know, in a three foot long uh, column. The 206, about half the size again, six LFs, we get a little bit wider vertical high frequency coverage uh, since there's just two of our CREs in that system. And then the Entesis 203, our smallest uh, three woofer system with a wider vertical. I find these systems useful in a wide range of uh, environments, but uh, you know, really it comes down to their, their replacement, maybe a more aesthetically appealing system to a common square rectangular point source system. And they're also great at complementing the Entesis FR systems if you happen to need a fill speaker uh, here or there. Another one of our uh, how far does it go charts. This one can be found, I think, in our presentation and performance our, uh, guide. Um, the uh, you know the systems are these systems are really aimed at you know worship spaces for aesthetics, performance, and other you know mildly re reverberant spaces or more highly reverberant spaces. Think your transportation hubs, your train stations, your airports, your concourses of sports venues, uh, museums. There's a lot of different places where the, the added pattern control of these systems compared to say a coaxial speaker with very wide dispersion will really help you, you know, gain you know, a higher intelligibility score when deployed uh, appropriately. The E-Series generally finds itself in the applications uh, you know, list, listed 
uh, to the left, your auditoriums, I'll, I'll use the E-series and gyms, especially those gyms that might have a stage at one end in your common middle schools and you need to project 70, 80 feet and uh, generally untreated acoustical environment, great for those places. Uh, the aesthetics, you know, lend themselves to uh, museums, convention spaces, meeting spaces, large all-hands areas, and these large open areas that we see in a lot of corporate environments. Entesis FRs, uh, you know, can easily you know, blend in aesthetically and work extremely, extremely well. We've had great success in transportation hubs of the Entesis FRs also due to their ability to achieve high intelligibility without having to get into to a uh, fully active steered column array system. I use them in concourses and stadiums, again, far better in those nasty environments uh, than a uh, you know, six or eight inch coaxial speaker, the added dir directivity. And they're also popular for, you know, on the sides of video displays, like you know, in your, your corporate lobbies or your malls or anywhere where you've got you know, medium to large display surfaces that you want to attract attention to and engage people with the content on that. Uh, they, they fit in really great to those environments also, but the, the Entesis FRs, you know, really, really excel in acoustically challenging spaces like this. Very tough to spot the speakers. Uh, there are, there's a few arrays of Entesis FRs. I'll show you where they are in here. Uh, mounted very discreetly to the beams down tilted uh, probably three or three to five degrees so we don't bounce sound off the back of the room using the accessory pan tilt bracket uh, for these systems so uh, that's uh, yeah one, one of the many applications uh, for the Entesis uh, FR systems and this room you know, might not be one that I'd use the Entesis 200s in. I'd probably prefer the FRs unless I was distributing them on every column and maybe somebody only wanted shorter columns. But feel free to lean on the uh, LVG applications group. V-series, uh, you know, the V-series v uh, systems are, uh, you know, cost-effective models. We have four compact models. Uh, four large format models and four subwoofer models. Everyday systems, point and shoot. Each of the full range models uses the same high frequency driver. And uh, we also have, uh, have four subwoofer models available in them and a couple of uh, 70 volt models that can be used also. An extension of the V-series is also a couple of compact subwoofers, our VLF-208 uh, LV and our, our, uh, our uh, slot-loaded VLF-208, very compact uh, you know, subwoofer system. We also have a couple of monitors, our MX-8 and 10, which are based on our coaxial ceiling speaker systems. Uh, great for confidence monitors, small stage shows, school auditoriums. V-series applications, uh, range, you know, range, you know, range, uh, you know, theaters, auditoria, just all your everyday app, app applications. On uh, this application here, uh, just a couple compact V228s uh, being used, and some other distributed V-series. Our I-series is our premium performance series of uh, of systems. Uh, no holds barred, you know, cover a wide, wide range of venues, very discreet styling, and the most extensive bracket rigging options off the shelf uh, in, in the industry. We have five compact models uh, that, that'll operate in uh, portrait landscape mounting with uh, 70 volt auto formers available in them, 27 point source, uh, point, you know, point source models, 12 different subwoofers and our IV6 modular vertical array, and there's indoor outdoor versions available for all of them. Our medium power systems, we have six different horn patterns available for our 12 and 15 inch uh, two-way systems that are all rotatable. And we have a dozen different subwoofer combinations uh, through, from a single 12 through, uh, through a double 18 uh, within, this, within this series. 
We also have our high power systems, which the big differentiator, especially if you're running systems above, say, the 50 percent, uh, you know, higher than the 50 percent power rating of the systems, you really start to hear the difference in the uh, point source 800 systems where the speakers are far from people or it's just high level output. You know where that extra 20 percent of dollars went, you know, when you start operating systems at higher levels and the the point source 800 and several for 800s won't let you down in even the most demanding environments. In the I-Series, we also have our modular vertical array uh, systems. It can be used as a constant curvature array, a standard line array using all five degree elements or a hybrid array using combinations of our five degree vertical and 15 degree vertical elements. Uh, at its price point, it you know, competes with all the competitors' line arrays and constant curvature systems. Uh, they'll adapt to a wide range of venue sizes. We, of course, have the outdoor systems available, as I showed earlier. But one of the really main things about the IV6 is the cost effectiveness of the system. Uh, oftentimes, a single amp, single DSP channel can run an entire six element uh, array. Uh, this is something that most of the competitors can't claim, and they certainly don't do it nearly as well as us with the amount of engineering we put into the waveguides on these systems. Take a look at them in Focus 3 uh, when you get a chance. There's two vertical dispersions. Both are 120 degrees horizontal, but you've got 5 degree and 15 degree uh, vertical elements and a subwoofer that can go in the array, behind the array, um, or, on the, or on the ground. Quick overview of the basic specifications. They are a 16 ohm nominal impedance, uh, so we can parallel a number of them together. And, but we have our, uh, in our operating modes, our, our uh, passive acoustic optimization filters, which allows us to use the predicted attenuation values for full range boxes and the high frequency sections from Ease Focus 3 to shape the vertical beam width of these systems passively, uh, as opposed to an amplifier per element like many of our competitors need. They can be the main PA, for small to medium sized venues, you see the list there, anywhere that uh, an array solution is appropriate. Uh, I'd say if, you're, if you don't need more than, you know, a minimum of three elements to make an array really, if you, if you need fewer than that, I'll probably try and point you to a point source, but we can build these arrays, you know, you know 10, 12, 14 elements deep if need be depending on the application, whether it's indoors or outdoors. They will not, they will not let you down. Uh, example of some I-series indoor applications here using point source uh, 600 series uh, systems and subwoofers. To power all this stuff, uh, we have our branded amplified loudspeaker controllers. Uh, very defined processing, optimized power, and system management for consistent, repeatable performance. You know, for the system deployments, you got the right power, we've got the right FIR settings, we've done all the work already, we've got health monitoring of the, the uh, loudspeaker signal chain, and the uh, you know, ALCs are really an extension of the loudspeaker. You know, the system routing can be done in, say, a Tessera system to uh, take care of the different zoning needs. And then the ALC plus allowed speakers are treated as a single endpoint. You know, smaller applications with signal processing, you know, coming direct, you know, if you want to just feed the system directly out of a small mixer, absolutely. Just go right, in, right into the Dante or analog inputs on the DSP uh, without anything else in between for smaller applications. We have four, three different power levels of ALC uh, uh, power, uh, four times 400 watts, whether it's low impedance or uh, high impedance, they integrate seamlessly into Dante systems. We also have, you know, to the ALC 400 similar power levels, you know, to the uh, to Sarah, uh 1201, 1202, uh, systems. So if, if for uh, lower output applications using the smaller R's, I's, V's, and E's, you know, the, uh, the XELs 
uh, to create, you know, a, a complete, you know, a AVB ecosystem can be a, a very, uh, very good choice when lower power levels um, are all that's needed. Large venues require more power, though, on the other hand. Uh, when you need even more uh, higher power density, we have two larger amplifiers, 1600 watts a channel and 3200 watts a channel, uh, extremely efficient, uh, reliable amplifier systems. Uh, comparable output power uh, comparison here, you know, were the, uh, the XCL 1200-1s and 2s comparable to the 404, but then we also have the higher power density ALC 1604 and 3202Ds also to choose from. So very large venue requirements. Uh, these are fun to do, not necessarily everyday projects, but we have the products you know, to do this. I mean, we need high enough output to fill a stadium, whether it's indoors or outdoors. The goal is always to provide a consistent experience for all seats, through dispersion control, low distortion, and smooth frequency response. And no loudspeaker on the market today really offers everything. Yeah, we want high output, dispersion control, pattern control, horizontally and vertically, low distortion, smooth frequency response. Typical competitor designs, oh, okay, coaxial will give you dispersion control and uh, smooth response after a lot of processing. Uh, but we're, there's some there's some trade-offs. A single driver can't you know produce high output or uh, guarantee, uh, and you're guaranteed to have high distortion at at high volumes to those systems. Other designs, you know, horn over horn gives you high output, but you're losing out on many of the others and other things that we need also. Uh, you can coaxially and you know mount mount uh, drivers in front okay high output smooth response but dispersion control and low distortion are still lacking in what is the most common design in the marketplace but the mid-range is obstructed adds distortion to the system and the coverage patterns uh you know change uh, quite a bit especially near crossover competitors have limitations but i don't want to compromise so what's the solution well, introducing the community LVH 900, which many of you have uh, seen around. It's been out there at the trade shows. We are uh, uh, the industry's first uh, beam forming venue horn, the first venue loudspeaker with no trade offs, honestly. We hit all the boxes, tick, you know, check everything, unlike the, the competitors. We have high. We can achieve high enough SPL uh, to fill a stadium arena with 105 dB broadband pink noise at 100 feet. Uh, this provides a very consistent listening experience to everybody. Uh, we can reduce the uh, drive level to uh, individual uh, components and still retain the inherent uh, low distortion and smoothness of response. We have a. Uh, Pat, you know, many patents pending on our collinear manifold that combines the mid and high drivers into a coherent wave front. We also have multiple drivers to allow precise directivity shaping over a wide bandwidth and share that power output across drivers rather than stressing individual drivers to do everything. It's a new product category, uh, large scale, and they're, they'll, uh, they're applicable for the most challenging venues, even on the acoustical side. We have four one and a half inch voice coil high frequency drivers, uh, three two inch exit uh, community uh, M200 compression mid range drivers, and four 12 inch uh, three inch voice coil low frequency drivers in this sealed enclosure. We have a our, as I mentioned, our patent pending uh, collinear manifold, which seamlessly integrates mid and highs. There's a lot of technology and a lot of patents in this thing. It's not just slamming a bunch of energy into a, uh, into a waveguide. We have a large waveguide also that provides us pattern control uh, down, to, down to 400 hertz um, also. And we can provide extremely high output. You know, one watt, one meter, uh, 60 to 18K, 136 dB, 
And we can vary the vertical dispersion of these systems electronically by manipulating the signal to the mid-high drivers. There's two horizontal patterns available in the series, a 60 degree or a 90 degree. And through, uh, through software, we can configure the vertical patterns of the systems. Uh, we can provide, you know, get a wide bandwidth control at 60 degrees or 40 degrees vertical and really get a nice tight, you know, 20 degree vertical pattern, especially in the voice band out of the same skew. Uh, other competitors have many more SKUs, but we've, you know, aimed to uh, provide as, as few as possible just to make it easy for you and the installers. And our long throw dual cabinet design with a 20 degree vertical, if you need to reach really far, will give you 5 dB more output than the competitors if you stack up two of our systems and you need to shoot to the end of another of a stadium. Very discreet styling, very slick look, shared industrial language. Uh, consultants want a loudspeaker system that looks nice, it's easy to assemble, you know, like as most modern line arrays, uh, but typical competitive point sources are, um, typical competitive uh, point sources are less expensive, can usually beat intelligibility scores, but they look terrible. Size comparison, quick one here with the, the Biamp TV. But it's a, a big mouth, it's horn loaded. So we can use uh, more than one speaker in an array. Uh, typical competitors uh, have, you know, issues, you know, with uh, dispersion as we had, as we discussed uh, uh, previously with the uh, LV, you know, you know, with the uh, overlap, you know, from most competitors, you get poor experience in those overlap zones where they do not have the pattern control or adjustability uh, that we do in those overlap regions. Poor listening experience, reduced intelligibility, and inconsistent frequency response for many listeners. Our solution was, of course, to minimize the interference between adjacent speakers and increase the intelligibility uh, by by uh, by do by doing so, our beam forming provides uh, control and the vertical and minimizes overlap of adjacent cabinets. We have the flexibility to modify coverage patterns without having to change out the physical loudspeaker and the vertical plane. Uh, so we can easily shape the coverage system uh, to the seats of the minimum number of SKUs. Uh, we can offer line array light coverage with fewer enclosures, less rigging, so there's a cost savings, and often require half as many systems than typical line array uh, speaker systems, and achieve, achieve the same or better performance. We've got horizontal pattern control, most line array systems do not. We can make it even easier by supplying indoor bracketry. Uh, just save time, saves money for a designer, so we, we'll have you covered on the indoor rigging systems. We can make it easier than that. You can design systems quickly in ease four and focus three with one unified GLL that has all the cabinet and system configurations within a single file. Look for that to be posted soon. Uh, it's the same workflow as working with the line array as far as splaying, splaying the systems with, uh, based on our splay plates and uh, very, very easy uh, design process to mix and match and quickly choose cabinet splay angles. Beam forming, uh, the vertical beam forming, sorry, is uh, created by uh, addressing the mid and high section drivers independently. Uh, we're using our ALC uh, systems uh, to do this as the FIRs are loaded into those. So each LVH is sold with two, two ALC uh, uh, models in order to achieve the vertical beam width uh, control. So quick recap, large format, vertical beam forming, uh, great performance on large, large venues, competes with line arrays and can be much more cost effective. We have our indoor brackets and all the other items you see there. We have the highest output amongst, you know, amongst our direct, you know, our direct uh, competitors uh, at, at you know, considerably lower distortion than all of them, I'm confident to say, especially in the all important voice band. 
and we can do all of this with basically two SKUs and have a wide range of horn patterns available compared to the competitors um, who have all those other shortcomings that we have uh, solved. And of course, there's an outdoor version. Uh, indoors are black and white, outdoor, gray, black and white. We can custom color them, polyglass uh, enclosures like the I-Series and third-party rigging is required for the outdoor suspension. It's not just for stadiums, large houses of worship, anywhere that can benefit from pattern control, high SPL, low distortion, auditoriums, indoor arenas. Uh, so be ready for it. Uh, we look forward to getting it out there and showing, showing the world. I'll leave my email address up on the screen. My name is Dave Howden. I thank you very much for joining us and look forward to being in touch with you uh, as soon as you would like. Thank you.